Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Minna Nail Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It is very much appreciated. Just gonna um, take the opportunity to say thank you to everybody who has liked, shared and subscribed to the channel. If you do want a personal reading, um, I do do half hour readings by um, video recorded messages. Um, so that way you can keep the reading. Um, if you do want a reading, just go to the about section and um, shoot us um, shoot us a, an email. And you know, I, at this stage, I don't really care how many questions you you have. You know, I don't put a limit on your questions. So um, you know, shoot us an email and we'll we'll have a look at it for you. And we'll try and get them out within twenty four to forty eight hours for you just depending how busy we are. But right now, I, I do have about three or four placements um, available, okay? All right, everyone, please only take what resonates and leave the rest, don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she, sometimes the story might be vice versa. And yes, it is a Scorpio reading. All right, Scorpio, you had a jumper, the emperor, could be dealing with a Taurus, could be uh, regarding your workplace. Um, we'll soon have a look at it. All right. Could be a father figure. All right. We have you with the Eight of Cups walking away, which I don't really find that to be a bad card, but always when you're walking away from the Eight of Cups, you're always walking towards something better. Okay. We have a, a conflict, people that are not on the same page, an argument that is a, going to happen or already happened. But you're coming in as moving forward. The magician is somebody who has all the tools to move forward and change your direction, okay? And I do feel that um, you, some of you are letting go of the past. Some of you have got a lot of memories of the past. All right, Scorpio. Oh, wow. Coming into the new year, Scorpio, um, there's a lot of changes that is happening for you. For those of you that want to travel, get your passports ready because I feel like that you are taking a journey, you are taking a trip. But I feel like this year you've come in with a new attitude, Scorpio, and the attitude is to achieve and conquer the things that you have been struggling with for a long time. Some of you, you've got a victory at work. Some of you are going to travel. Some of you are moving on to calmer waters and fulfilling your wishes for the things that you need in your life and not relying on other people, okay? Um, I feel like Scorpio, somebody's ready to make a decision about you. I feel like somebody's, you know, wanting to take this leap of faith. They will be getting the, the strength and the courage to be able to come towards you and move things to calmer waters, possibly apologize. They really think about you, Scorpio. I feel like this person has been really slow when it comes to you, Scorpio. Um, but somebody's focusing on their work. This could be you, Scorpio, focusing on your work, focusing on your own business. Something that's been slow to take off is now you putting more work and effort into making it and achieving it and, and fulfilling your wishes, okay? I feel like somebody's missing the passion between the two of you, Scorpio. They aren't very much in a self-imposed prison. But I do feel whoever this is, whether it's you or another person, is going to find the strength to release a heavy burden and come towards you, Scorpio. They want to have a conversation with you regarding what they have to offer to you right now. I feel like it's not a huge offer, but they're securing their position with you, I feel. Um, and, um, you know, this person, I'm going to tell you now, Scorpio, this person doesn't stop thinking about you, you know, um, I feel like, um, this person feels you're walking away and I don't blame you if you are, Scorpio, I, I don't blame you if you are walking away because <clears throat> I feel like that, um, you know, this person, if they're taking time out, they're not really acknowledging you and they kind of put you on the back burner for now. Um, I feel like that they do want to run away from something. They're trying to get away from something, Scorpio, okay? Um, 
I'll be honest with you, I don't, for, for the majority of you, I don't feel like it's you that's walking away. I feel like it's this other person that's walking away. They're just waiting for their ships to come in and they're just keeping the peace until whatever plan they've got is able to move forward, okay? Um, because I feel like they keep things very hidden. They don't want to tell people what's going on. They had a crossroad about leaving um, somebody, but they are going to do it, okay? Because these two people have got their backs to each other and this person is now thinking of moving in a new direction. Um, but the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles have got their backs to each other. This person was at a crossroad for a long time, Scorpio, and they've been hiding exactly what they're going through, okay? And from what I can see, this person has gone through quite a, a battle and is keeping a very big secret, okay? Um, you know, something that they put in a lot of hard work and effort in, and if this is vice versa, just reverse it, okay? Something that they put a lot of hard work and effort in, and, and even though they've done all that, they still feel like that they're left out in the cold, um, especially when it comes to their finances. Um, they, they're a little bit wounded, but, you know, they, they're coming towards you, Scorpio, because they want to find balance. This person is watching you. They are watching you, okay? They're looking um, into, you know, where balance lies, and I feel like the balance lies with you, Scorpio, because, you know, this is coming in as the choice, the Two of Cups, which is a water sign energy as well. It doesn't have to be, but... You know, um, the Two of Cups is somebody making a choice and coming with an offer. Mm. You and this person are going to be moving in. They're moving out of somewhere and they're moving in somewhere else with you. Or, um, yeah, this person is coming in with truth and clarity. Because I feel like if this person doesn't come in with truth and clarity, Scorpio, they're going to use you because they know that you've got a no-nonsense approach this year. Okay, um, last year you may have let a lot of things slide. You may have been more clinging and hanging on to people and hanging on to things. But this year, you're a different person. You're not hanging on to anything. You're focusing on you, focusing on your work, focusing on your family, focusing on the things that you require to move forward and have a comfortable life. I'm going to tell you, Scorpio, that I'm talking about a twin flame here or a a person that, you know, loves you so much that they can't stop thinking about you. But there's some truth and clarity that's going to be um, spoken here, Scorpio. This person does have an addiction possibly to you or they have addictions, okay? Or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Well, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I feel like everybody is here anyway, okay? But somebody has to leave a situation and they are going to go through some sort of grief and sorrow. And hopefully that's not you, Scorpio, okay? But if it is you, Scorpio, um, you're going to be going towards wish fulfillment, you know, getting everything that you want. And I feel like this person feels that they can get, have everything that they want from you. But there's a lot of people that's going to be involved in all this. Scorpio sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I feel like it's more on this person's side, not on your side. Um, but at the end of the day, Scorpio, um, you know, the people that are, are trying to interfere with this person, they're trying to create confusion. They're trying to stop this person from leaving, okay? Um, they want this person to put an end with you and stay where they are and possibly give more equal give and take. But this person is not going to stay, Scorpio. They, they have transformed. They've changed, okay? They do want the equal give and take. And they do see that you are the person that they can do it with, okay? But I kind of feel, Scorpio, that you're scared that this person is going to repeat a pattern with you. But I'm telling you, this person does not want to fight anymore, okay? They don't want to fight their feelings anymore. They don't want to fight their emotions anymore. They want this opportunity with you, Scorpio. You are the wish fulfillment here, yeah, okay? They want this opportunity with you. They want to celebrate. You may have been a third party in this situation and, you know, judgment is here. Judgment is here, Scorpio, okay? And I feel like, that. well, this is the card of Scorpio anyway. 
and somebody is doing a lot of thinking, Scorpio, a lot of thinking, a lot of decision making, but they're opening up their heart to you, Scorpio. They're making a plan and they see that they can have success, expansion and growth with you. So the tower moment is not always a bad thing, Scorpio. We've got everything here. Your sign is all over the place. The tower is Scorpio. The judgment is Scorpio. You know, the ace of cups is Scorpio. But this person is wanting to make this change now, okay? I feel like they want this passionate new beginning. See, the, the tower moment is not always a bad card. They want this passionate new beginning with you, Scorpio, the Queen of Cups. You know, you and this person are a perfect pair. I feel like this person is in a marriage. Okay, uh, or you're in a marriage, Scorpio, but um, whoever it is, um, they're going to hurt somebody, and I, but I don't feel like it's you. It's like here, they're thinking, who do I choose? I want this passionate new beginning with Scorpio, but I'm going to hurt somebody along the way, so I need to plan carefully what I need um, to do in order to have this smooth sailing coming out of one relationship going into another, all right? But at the end of the day, Scorpio, you and this person um, are meant to have a higher level of commitment together, but there's been so much interruptions in this relationship, it's not funny, but they love you, Scorpio. They love you. The connection is with you, and I feel like they want stability with you. Um, you know, this person is, is coming in um, pretty stable, whereas before I, I feel like that they lacked a lot of... Um, things in their life and they didn't think that they were good enough but really there, there were times where they made you feel that you were the one that wasn't good enough but now somebody is willing to put in the hard work and effort to achieve the things that they want so um you know be patient scorpio things are going to move forward and this person is going to collaborate they're going to talk to you and they're going to give you some sort of um something that that says i'm committed to you okay because I feel like that's what you want. You want this person to give you something to show you that they're committed. It's it's okay about the actions that they, they do to show you. It's okay the words that they give you to show you. But for them to actually give you um, something that says I'm committed is going gonna, is gonna to speak, you know, thousands of words to you. But, you know... I, I don't think you should lose, lose any more sleep over this, Scorpio. Um, I feel like this person is struggling, you know, mentally, um, you know, especially with the secrets that they hold. Um, they're worried maybe things are going to be revealed, so they still want to keep you secret or something is a secret here, Scorpio. But I, I do feel that secretly they know they're going to move forward with you and when they do, they're going to come in very quickly, okay? I do feel that after that, things move forward with the Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot, and somebody might be wounded, but they're going to give this a try. Somebody who wants to come out of a hurtful situation, Scorpio, somebody's making a clear choice here, okay? And you are sitting in your Empress energy. You are attracting, you are not chasing, you are giving this person the space and the time to be able to do whatever they want. But I feel like you really love this person, Scorpio, and you have a lot of memories with this person, you know. Um, you know, um, there was a time when you were single, and you may have dated this person when you were single, um, but, you know, things didn't move forward the way that they should, but now things are going to move forward because this person has all the tools. And I feel like that, you know, if you've been having conversations with this person, Without you even realizing, Scorpio, you're saying things that is triggering them, that is opening their eyes to, to you and looking at you in a different way now. Um, before, I kind of feel that um, you were quite disappointed with this person and they always made you, everybody else, feel more important than you, Scorpio. So a lot of you have moved away from this situation and will not ever return to it. But I feel like this is a current situation. This is something that is in the now. This is something that is happening now, okay? Um, and even though you have very fond memories, here we go, ah, there you go, I just yawned. Um, 
even though you have very fond memories of this person from the past, the opportunity is now coming in for this to take off, okay? Um, but, you know, I feel like this person is going to have this aha moment, you know, where they have all this planning that is going on right now and everything might be all secretive and, you know, um, you feel like this person is not... Um, attentive enough or um you know they just come in and out of your life but you know very soon and i feel like it's very soon that this person is like you know i see somebody standing in in a kitchen while they're listening to some bullshit going on in the background okay and um all of a sudden something just hits home and they just throw everything down on the sink and i'm out of here I'm out of here. That's enough. I don't want to hear any more bullshit. I don't want to hear any, any more. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm out. Okay. And they come towards you, Scorpio. Because you're in this really grounded energy now. Okay. You're not going to allow anybody to disturb your peace. You allowed a lot of people in the past to disturb your peace, but now you'll be speaking up. So if somebody is, you know, doing their best to push the wrong button or poke the bear, the bear's going to turn around and say, enough. That's enough, okay? And you're just going to not bother with these people anymore. You know, the bullying that is going on, the stupid text messages that you're receiving, or, you know, people that don't want to make sense, you know, or you feel like they're hiding something. You're just wanting to clear the energy. So, Scorpio, go into your bedroom, light some sage, clean the air, Clean your space, you know, detox and get rid of anything unwanted now and just clear your space, okay? You're making room and what you're making room for is a beautiful relationship that is coming in for you, okay? Um, so people that not on the same page with you, they're done, they're gone, uh, you know. You're going to accumulate some sort of wealth, you know, this year, Scorpio, and it's not just wealth of money, but it's wealth and and within yourself, you, you're going to start looking better, dressing better. Um, some of you might dye your hair a different colour. Some of you are going to lose weight. But it, it is all about you this year, Scorpio. So, um, you know, it, it's a good year. It, it really is a good year. And whoever this person is, you're not pushing this person to make a decision because you feel it has to be their decision. And, you know, you're not chasing anybody. You're just doing you. And um, if they come towards you, which I feel that they are, um, and you, this person might communicate with you within, within a week's time, um, but they're rushing in with some news. And, um, you know, I kind of feel, Scorpio, that this person um, or you may have to travel for work so it will distance you from your loved ones or, or someone that you love for a period of time. Um, but when they come back, Scorpio, when you come back, this is when things are just going to move forward and the financial blessings and opportunities are going to open up for you. That's just, you know, a handful of views that I'm talking to. But, you know, stay in this Empress energy. Scorpio and um, you will attract what you want okay so keep your mind clean Scorpio keep your energy stable and don't allow people to steal your energy and that's what I got for you Scorpio so um, you know there is another storyline here when it comes to family members that are that are arguing and and fighting okay especially if there's a virgo taurus or capricorn you may hear from this person that wants to apologize to you scorpio uh, for their actions for the things that they've said or you know but you know you're you're quite done with this you know it's like this person has um done it so many times to upset you and um you're just at a point where you don't want this person around and unless they clean themselves up or they um fix their attitude because you, you just got this no nonsense approach okay um so 
you know, one's bitten twice shy, is it? I might be saying the wrong thing, but this person has, you know, done it to you so many times, that it upset you so many times, and so many times you, you let it go, because it's obviously a family member, and you don't want to, you know, have this big outbreak, uh, arguments and things like that. But this time, Scorpio, you've turned your back on this person, because they're not giving you the respect that you deserve. And what's the one thing Scorpio doesn't like? Lies. Scorpio doesn't like to be lied to. Scorpio doesn't like to be disrespected. Okay. Um, I think you're coming in very truthful and very honest here, Scorpio. And a lot of people love you for your honesty and, and for how you um, handle things. You might not be very good at handling things for yourself. It's always... You know, you're always good for others, but, you know, when it comes to you, yes, you've made that, you know, a lot of mistakes, Scorpio, things that you're not very proud of. But this is the year where you fix everything in your life so you could just keep moving forward, okay? So all the best and good luck to you, Scorpio. And um, and if you do want a private reading, you know, send, shoot me a, an email and we'll let you know what it's all about. All right, Scorpio? Okay. Bye for now.